Llévanos a ese lugar secreto en este momento Y abrázanos en tu amor And, and wrap us in your love Lord We give you glory Lord And Holy Spirit we make you our, our guest of honor in this place Espíritu Santo te hacemos el invitado de honor en este lugar
Bendito sea Dios. Yo sé que Amen. Dios ya ha estado hablando. Yo sé que Dios ya ha estado hablando. I know God has already been speaking and ministering to you through prophecy. Y ahora va a hablar a través de la palabra profética más segura. And now he's going to talk. Now we're going to be talking about more prophetic word. Vamos a leer. We're going to be reading. Genesis. Genesis. Capítulo 28. Chapter 28. Verso 10. Verse 10. En adelante. And forward. Voy a pedir hermano Talero si... Nos la pone en la, en la pantalla. Genesis, Genesis 28, verse 10. Voy a leer que eh, Carelia la lea en inglés y ahí la vamos a dejar, porque aquí todos hablamos en inglés, amén. Eh, eh, léalo del, del 10 al 15. Jacob left Beersheba and set out for Haran. When he reached a certain place, he stopped for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones there, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep. He had a dream in which he saw a stairway resting on the earth with its top reaching to heaven. And the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. There above it, it, there above it stood the Lord. And he said, I am the Lord, your God, father of Abraham and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are lying. Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth, and you will spread out to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. All people on the earth will be blessed through you and your offspring I am with you, and I will watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised to you. Yes, amen. How many of you can say amen to this word? Oremos. Let's pray. Padre, en esta hora, Señor, nos presentamos delante de ti, Señor, delante de este pueblo, de esta congregación, Sabiendo que es la congregación de los santos, Dios. Father, we present ourselves to you this hour in front of this congregation, knowing that these are your people. Ahora, Padre, te pedimos que tu palabra venga con revelación. Lord, we ask that your word comes with revelation. Con sabiduría. With wisdom. Con discernimiento. With discernment. Y que esa palabra cumpla el propósito. And that your word will complete its purpose. La envía. In which you are sending it. El que ha venido atribulado. And the ones that el have come triste, desanimado. feeling sad, discouraged. Esta palabra venga a ser, Señor, esa palabra de aliento. Lord, that this word can come and comfort them. El que esté enfermo sea sanado. And the one that is sick will be healed. El que esté atado. And the one that con feels bound to thoughts. Sea libre. Will be free. Y que esta palabra, Señor. And that this word que se va a predicar, que that es la verdad, will be preached, which is the truth, Señor, haga libre that it will, vidas will, it will deliver para our minds, our lives to serve you with a joyful heart. Padre, en el de Jesús lo Father, in amen. the name of Jesus, we ask, Gloria amen, Señor. and glory to God. Sea Dios. Bless be the Lord. El tema del de esta tarde, Today's uh, message dice name, así, is yo que mucha listen to the title carefully Dios no te va a dejar. God will not leave you Oiga bien, Dios no listen te va carefully a dejar God will not leave you hasta que haya hecho until he has done lo que te ha dicho. what he has said he would do Ahora dígalo conmigo. now say it with me Dios no te va a dejar God will not leave you hasta que haya hecho until he has done lo que te ha dicho. what he said he would Ahora, do. Dígaselo usted mismo. Now tell it to yourself Dios no me va a dejar God will not leave me hasta que haya hecho until he has done lo que me ha dicho. what he said Denle he would do. Señor. Give God a hand. Dios no te va a dejar. God will not leave you. Dios no me va a dejar. God will not leave me. Te estoy hablando en este día. I am talking to you this day. De que Dios no te va a dejar. That God will not leave you. Porque tengo la experiencia. Because you may have the experience. Que Dios no me ha dejado. 
because God has not left me to this day and you have Dios no te ha dejado, the experience that God has not si left no you dejado, and if he has not left you yet él va a el he will still fulfill his purpose por el cual te ha in which he has called you for Ahora, yo estoy más que seguro, now I'm more than sure que tú has recibido una palabra, that you have received a word a través de through, through prophetic words a través de la palabra profética, through the prophetic word in the Bible que Dios ha sembrado una semilla en ti, that God has sowed in a seed y Dios te ha prometido algo. and he has promised you something dicen amen? how many can say amen? Dicen amen how many can say amen because God is faithful he is true and he does not lie and he is committed to that word que que le cree. that he who believes que que en él. And, and trust in him que que la en él. the one who deposits all their trust in no him serán they will not be put to shame Yo no voy a ser I will not be put to shame Usted no va a ser you will not be put to shame Hace cuatro, hace, no, no, no hace cuatro años, 2008, um, in 2008 yo declaré una palabra, I declared a word acá, acá este lugar, uh, preaching um, in this place but we were in the basement de que the Dios ya había hecho el that God had already done a miracle y yo lo creí. and I believed this en ese mismo año, and in that same year Juanita vino, Pastor Juanita came y en ese mismo lugar. and she preached in that same place y se subió a una silla, and she came up to a chair y ella nos and she was testifying that she would stand on the chairs um, in her house y and look out the window and she, and she would yell out camels Vengan. come ella dijo eso, and when she said that me a mí como un poco de locura, I thought you know it's kind of crazy y fui a la casa y comencé a buscar en la Biblia. And I went back home and I started looking in my Bible. A ver dónde hablaba eso de los camellos que había que llamarlos. Where it was talking about camels and calling our camels. Y en la Biblia aparece la palabra camello. And in the Bible the word camel. Pero no encontré esa palabra exactamente. Is in the Bible but I, I couldn't really find what she Sin was embargo, preaching about. Creí. So I didn't believe it. Y ella nos subió a todos en la silla. And then after she got everyone to stand y on chairs and everybody calling Venga. the camels to come. Creen que los están a punto de How many believe that your camel's about to come? Los camels mean blessings. They bring blessings. Pero esa palabra, But looking and researching in that word, a de Reyes, 7, I came to Second uh, Kings, los, los, los where the Assyrians Samaria, were um, called on Samaria. Pero allí dice que asno. And it says there that they were bringing um, asno. Um, oxes donkey or, or donkeys. Y, y dice que llevaban caballos. And they were bringing horses. Y yo dije, no dice que son camellos, dice que and, son caballos y asnos. And, and, and I'm thinking to myself, there's no camels no here, importa there's just se donkeys and horses, but it doesn't matter. Lo importante es que eso, dice que los asirios los llevaban cargados con oro. The important thing it was that it said that the Assyrians brought these things loaded with gold and food. Con toda clase de bendición. And with all kinds of blessings. Entonces Dios me trajo esta palabra. So God brought me to this word. Y me dijo el Señor, and the Lord said así como los asirios, in the same way that the Assyrians esos asnos, they were bringing those um, donkeys esos caballos, and, those, and loaded up their horses los cargaron para ellos, they loaded them up for themselves llevaban ese oro para ellos, they were bringing that gold for themselves lo que ellos no sabían, what they didn't know que ese oro, that was that that gold que esa que llevaban, and that provision no iba a ser para ellos, it was not going to be for themselves llevando, they were taking it they were transporting it para los for the Samaritans y así sucedió. and that's exactly what happened la provision que ellos llevaban, the provision that they were bringing fue para los samaritanos. it was for the Samaritans you can Parece read it you look like you're not excited right now but you need to read this para decir amen. it's a moment to say amen amen, amen. Porque dice la Biblia que en 24 horas, because the Bible says that in 24 hours Dios cambió la situación, God changed the situation in those people en 24 horas, in 24 hours God 24 changed horas, 24 hours en 24 horas, mi situación puede cambiar. in 24 hours my situation can change en 24 horas, tu in, situación puede cambiar. in 24 hours your situation can no change because there is nothing impossible for God que hay una combinación. remember that there is a combination hay una ¿Cómo le diríamos? Um, how can Ecuación. we say this? There is an equation. 
Dice Dios, where God says para mí no hay nada that there is nothing impossible dice, for me, says the Lord. Cree, todas las cosas le son And that for he who believes, everything is possible to him too. So we are moving in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a territory of possibilities. And I just rejoice in seeing uh, Rafael with his wife today because, because he would come here and ask for prayer. Oren. Pray. Porque quiero que mi esposa venga, quiero estar con mi esposa. Because I want my wife to come, I want to be with her. Está aquí, está la And today she's here, her, his blessing is here. Amen. Amen. Pero él siempre estaba orando. But he, he was always praying. Y pidiendo oración. And asking for prayer. Y me decía. And he was saying. Pastor, quiero que ore por mi esposa. Pastor, I want you to pray for my wife. Y ahora vemos esa oración contestada. And now we amen? see that prayer being answered. How many can say amen? God is good. Pero usted dirá, ¿y qué tiene que ver todo esto con Jacob? And you can just say, well, what does this have to do with Jacob? Ahora es cuando comenzamos el mensaje. Now this is where I'm going to start my message. Ahora lo que me están tomando el tiempo, ya tomemos a partir de hoy. No okay, you can start my time now, okay? Serán comerciales. Okay, let's, uh, we were in commercials right now. Conocemos la historia de, de Jacob. So we all know the story of Jacob. Algunos la conocemos acá. Some of us know it. Otros no. Maybe some of us don't. Pero la mayoría la conocemos. But the majority probably know the story Pero of Jacob. Pero dice que este hombre. It says that this man. Desde que venía en el vientre de su madre. Since he was in his mother's womb. De Rebeca venía, dice. In Rebecca. Peleando, it said that he was, he was struggling. La bendición. To get that blessing. En Génesis 25. In Genesis 25. Dice que cuando salió. It says that when he came out. Venía agarrado al calcañar. He, he, he was holding on to the heel of his brother Esau because since inside the wound they were fighting for that blessing because Jacob wanted that blessing how many of you want that blessing? how many of you want that blessing? the blessing will not come until you have faith si no creemos, if you do not believe que Dios that God nos va a bendecir, will bless us no va a then it won't come Pero que que este niño, but it's so tremendous that this child sin lo que es la with, de Dios, without understanding what the blessing of God is ya he already su was fighting for his blessing y nació y no pudo salir primero. And he was born and he wasn't able to be the first born. It was for the Primero. one that was the, the first born. Ahora, dice una canción. Now there's a song that says that you shouldn't be the first one to arrive but you should know how to arrive. Ya, ya se Some of you may know it. No hay que Remember? Primero. So you not necessarily have to come first Pero hay que saber but you need to know how to get there. Jacob supo llegar. And Jacob knew how to arrive. No sé, me están haciendo señas ya, no sé si es que están grabando. I know, are you? Este, yo no puedo estar parado en un solo lugar porque es. Okay. I can't really stand in one spot in case you're recording. Tiene que estar parado, pues lo voy a estar acá. I'm gonna be standing, but. Bendito sea Dios. Blessed be the Lord. Y Jacob no llegó primero. So then Jacob did not arrive first. Pero supo llegar. But he knew how to arrive. He knew how to fight for Cuando his este blessing. Creció, When this man grew up, vino la the opportunity came. Esaú, and Esau la rejected his blessing. Aquel en la carne. He was thinking on the flesh. Aquel dijo, Yo voy a morir. ¿Para qué me sirve la and Esau thought, I'm going to die. What's, what's good Jacob, to have that birthright? Jacob dijo, Yo voy a morir. And Jacob said, I'm going to die. Igual manera, pero in yo the same esa way bendición. but I want that blessing y esa para mis hijos. I want that blessing for y my children mi and for my family y esa la Biblia, and the Bible says que ahí agarró la bendición ahí. that he took that blessing y entonces, so then Esaú, Esau va donde su papá, el papá ahora por él lo bendice He goes to his father. His Cuando father blesses him. Este, este But when Esau learns that his blessing has been stolen, Entonces, a a, a, a Jacob. he starts to pursue Jacob. Le había robado, según le había la And he was angry because Jacob had stolen his blessing, his birthright. Es que hizo todo en la cruz del And it's true that Jesus did everything on the cross. 
Pero el apóstol Pablo dijo But the Apostle Paul said que peleáramos la buena batalla de la that fe. We needed to fight the good fight of faith. Tú quieres bendición. You want your blessing. Yo quiero bendición para I mi familia. I want my blessing for my family. Tengo que pelear mi bendición. I need to fight for my blessing. Tengo que estar orando. I need to be praying. Tengo que estar clamando. I need to be praying. Yo quiero lo mejor and para mi familia. Out, I want the best for my family. ¿Por qué está usted en este país? Or why are you here in Porque this country? Porque queremos lo mejor. Because we want the best. Dios nos ha traído acá con un propósito. God has brought us here for a purpose. Pero dice la Biblia que este hombre llegó a un determinado lugar. So the Bible says that this man came to a specific place. Huyendo de su hermano. When he was fleeing from his brother. Ahí se acostó. So there he laid. Y puso una una piedra de almohada. And he grabbed a stone and used it as a pillow. Y se durmió. And he fell asleep. Y tuvo un sueño. And there he had a dream. Y si usted va a, a 28, 13, and if you go to Genesis 28, verse 13, Genesis 28, verse 13, Isaac, la tierra en que estás, acostado, te la daré a ti y a tu descendencia. It says, and there above it, um, He stood the Lord and he said, I am the Lord your God of your father Abraham and God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are lying on. Y después dice en el 14, será tu descendencia como el polvo de la tierra y, la, y te extenderás al occidente, al oriente, al norte y al sur. Y todas las familias de la tierra serán benditas en ti y en tu simiente. Verse 14, it says, your descendants will be like the dust of the earth, and you will spread out to the west, to the east, to the north, and to the south. All the people on the earth will be blessed through your offspring. And 15, it says, I am with you and I will watch over you wherever you go and I will bring you to this land once again. I will never leave you until I have done what I have promised you. So this word was for Jacob. But God gives you this word today. He will not leave you. He will not leave you as a person and he will not leave us as a church. Porque nunca nos ha dejado el Señor. Because the Lord has never ni como left iglesia, us as a church, ni como familia, or as a family, ni como persona. or as a person. Y esta promesa se la hizo y dijo, no te voy a dejar. And God made this promise, cuando saying, despertó, I will not leave you. Cuando despertó Jacob de aquel lugar. So when Jacob woke up in that place, dice la idea que tuvo miedo. It says that he was full of fear. Dijo, Dios está en este lugar y yo no me daba cuenta. And he said, surely God is in this place and I did not notice. Y dice que hizo un voto ahí con Dios, hizo un pacto. He also made a covenant with God there. La piedra recostada su cabeza la 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 ungió con aceite. And the the stone where he had lied on, he filled it with oil, anointed it, and he told God, Si tú vas conmigo, if you come with me, en este caminar, in my journey, y me guardares, and you keep me safe, y me prosperares, and you prosper me, y regresara con bien, and you bring me back. La décima parte de lo que tú me dieras te daré. I will give you the tenth of all of my belongings. Pregunto, so let me ask ¿se la you. Estaba pidiendo Dios? Was la God asking parte? for this? Was God asking for a tenth? No. No. Dios le dijo que le iba a bendecir de acuerdo God, a la promesa de Abraham. God said that he was going to bless him according to Abraham's promise. Pero a veces necesitamos hacer un voto con Dios. But sometimes we need to make a new covenant with God. A new covenant with God. El compromiso con Dios. And a commitment with God. Él lo hizo. He did de una this manera voluntaria. In, a, in a volunteer way. No voy a nada del hoy. And I'm not going to talk about tithe today. Este se, se para el and, and this um, passage here, this verse is preached on tithes si no, de la sometimes. Que Dios le dio a Jacob. But I want to base on what God told Jacob. Y se fue Jacob. So Jacob left. A seguir su camino. And he went on his journey. Llegó donde su tío Labán. He came to his uncle Laban's place. Y comenzó a trabajar ahí. And he started working for his uncle. El suegro, el, el, el suegro, el futuro suegro. And his future father-in-law. Le cambió el salario diez veces. Changed his salary ten times. Le cambió la, la, la que había sido prometida para esposa. And uh, changed who was going to be his promised Le dio la wife. Otra. He gave him another ya uh, le había wife. Siete años. Even though he had served him seven years already. No se oigo mucho eco en el... En el 
no sé si tal vez los monitores, ¿cómo oyen ustedes ahí? Oigo, oigo, oigo eco acá. Good. Good. Sí, ok. Bendito sea Dios. Bless be the Lord. Que estén oyendo bien. So I just want you guys to be hearing us clearly. Y después sirvió siete años más. So he served seven years afterwards. Por la que él amaba. More for the one that he loved. Iba 14 años ya trabajando para Labán. So by this time he had worked 14 y years for Laban. Y dice la palabra del Señor que Labán era bendecido a causa de, de, de Jacob. And the word, the word of God says that Laban was blessed because of Jacob. Cuando tenemos la bendición de Dios. When we have the blessing of God. Donde estamos. Wherever we go. En la casa. At home. En la iglesia. At church. En el trabajo. At work. Somos de bendición. We are a blessing. Parece que usted no lo cree. Voy a ver, tal vez aquí It me seems cree. like you guys don't believe Somos this. Somos de bendición. We are a blessing Amen. to others. Amen. Bendito sea Dios. Y después le sirve por otros años más. And then he serves him a few more years el after that. Que le sirvió por 20 años. At the end, he ended up working for Laban for 20 years. ¿Usted cree que con esos 20 años usted se hubiera desanimado? No, you think that serving a man for 20 years, de maybe you would have gotten discouraged and waiting for the promise that God had given him? Dios te ha dado una palabra a ti. Now God has given you a word. Maybe you haven't received it yet. But if God gave it to you, it's going to come. It doesn't matter the length of time that you have to wait. It will come. What's wrong is that sometimes we want things right away. Now. And we tell God, God, give me patience. But give it to me now. I want it now. We say, God, give us patience. When trials come, and we say, Lord, take the trials. Pero si pediste paciencia, but you ask for patience pues te van a llegar las pruebas, well trials will help you para ver si realmente tienes paciencia. to see if you have patience Usted va al hospital, when, you go, when you go to the hospital aquí al Grand River, to Grand River o a las, a la, a las clínicas, or to the clinics y, y yo digo, le han buen nombre, and uh, they, I think to myself it's a good name patience um, a hospital horas, when you've been waiting at a hospital for three hours paciencia. you know your patience kind yeah. of is uh, running low <laughs> you have no more patience of waiting there no we don't have patience sometimes we come to church we come y to no the service and it's not even been two hours and we want to get out Vamos al Tim Horton, a un café. we go to Tim Hortons to buy a coffee and when there's a big lineup we don't want to stand in the lineup because we want everything fast but for the things of God sometimes things come fast and some things you need to wait for some, some people their, their prayers get answered faster than others have to wait Isaac came to that land Gerard y dice la Biblia que en un año Dios lo bendijo. And it says that in one year God blessed him. Pero Jacob but Jacob, tuvo que esperar 20 años. Jacob had to wait 20 years para que se cumpliera la palabra que Dios le, le había dado. For, for God's word to be fulfilled. Ahora Dios, Dios cuando, cuando Dios se le aparece en ese lugar Now when God appears to him in this place Jacob le puso Betel. Jacob names that place que Bethel que significa casa de Dios. which means a house of God. Necesitamos ir a Betel. We need to go to Bethel. A la casa de Dios. To God's house. A recibir una palabra. To receive a word. De Dios. Of God. Hoy la gente no quiere venir a la iglesia. And sometimes people don't want to come to church. Hoy la gente quiere usar la internet como su iglesia. People want to use internet as a church. Ahí dice escucho los mensajes que yo quiero. And they say, oh, I listen to the message that I want to at the time that I want to, and I do what I want to, and I don't have a pastor telling me what to do. Pero tú tienes que venir a Betel. But you need to come to Bethel. Si quieres recibir la bendición. If you want to receive your blessing. En Betel Dios te va a dar una palabra. In Bethel God will give you a word. Entonces dicen en el 19. In 19 it says. Y llamó a aquel lugar cómo lo llamó? He called that place. What did he call it? ¿Cómo lo llamó? What did he call it? Dígamelo en español porque no entiendo. Betel eso está como en hebreo. <laughs> ¿Cómo se llama? Casa de Dios. House of God. Pero no la de Guatemala, es la casa de aquí. <laughs> it's not the one in Guatemala. It's casa de Dios. In the, in the Bible. House of God. Léalo ahí en el, en el, en el, en el, en el 28, 19. We can read it here in 19. Pero, 
¿Cómo se llamaba el lugar anteriormente de eso? So, what was the place called before then? ¿Cómo se llamaba? What was it called? Se llamaba Luz. It was called Luz. Así dice acá, y llamó el nombre de aquel lugar Betel, aunque Luz era el nombre de la ciudad primero. Says he, he called that place Bethel, though the city was used to be called Luz. Ahora, ahí es donde le hace el voto en el 20, el 21 y el 22. And in 21, 22, he makes the covenant Amen. de que si lo regresaba con bien, prosperado, bendecido y en paz. That if God would bring him back um, in peace from his journey. Bendito sea el Señor. ¿Cuánto de alaba? How many worship God? Give God a hand. Y dice que cuando estaba en la casa de 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 su suegro Labán. And it says that when he was in Laban's house. Después de 20 años Dios lo bendice. After 20 years and God blessed him. Entonces el hombre viene Dios y le dice a él levántate Jacob. So God comes to him and says, Jacob, get up. Y vuelve al lugar. And he returns to the place. Donde te hablé. Where I spoke to you. Donde te di la palabra. Where I gave you the word. Donde te di la promesa. Where I gave you the promise. En el, en el, en el, en el capítulo 35 de Génesis. In chapter 35 in Genesis. Dice así, y dijo Dios a Jacob. God says to Jacob, Levántate y sube a Betel, y quédate allí, y, y, y haz allí un lugar, un altar, perdón, al Dios que te apareció cuando huías de tu hermano Esaú. Then God said to Jacob, go up to Bethel and settle there, and build an altar there to God, who appeared to you when you were fleeing from your brother Esau. Hay mucho que hemos estado en la comodidad. Now, some of us have been in commodities. Y Dios te está diciendo, ahora, and you're comfortable, but God now is telling you to get up. Y vete a Betel. Get up and go up, go to Bethel. Y un altar al Señor. And make an altar before the Lord Dios there. Que te sacó. The God who took you out. De tu país. When you were fleeing from Tal your country. Maybe of war. Tal vez de maybe of difficult situations. Amen. Amen. Y tal vez veniste, and maybe you came. Y un betel, and you built a Bethel. Te and then you left that Ahora place. Dios te dice, but now God says, Go up, get up and return to the house of God. Because ti. I have a word for you. I want to bless you. Pero que a otro. But I want you to bless others. Y dice la del Señor. And the word of God Entonces, says. So Jacob said to his household and everyone who was with him. Y tal los Get rid of the foreign gods that you have. Y y mudad and purify yourselves and change your clothes. 35, 3, y levantémonos y subamos a Betel. Then come and let us go to Bethel. Y ahí, y haré allí altar al Dios que me respondió en el día de mi abundancia, en el día que estaba bendecido. Así dice ahí. Where I, will build no, no, it, where I will build an altar before the Lord who answered me the day of my distress and who has been with me wherever I have gone. Dice que, que, que Dios le dio esa when does it say that God gave him this word? Let's go up and let's go to Bethel ya, where I will build an altar before God. Y ha estado conmigo en el camino que he andado. And he has been with me wherever I've been. ¿Te ha bendecido Dios en el camino? Has God blessed you in your journey? En el tiempo de tu angustia, in the time of your anguish ha has he answered you Entonces, ¿por qué no a la casa de Dios? so why not return to no God's house why not return to Bethel when Jacob was on his way to Laban's house iba solo. he was alone Ni la que tenía de llevó, ahí la dejó. he didn't even take the stone that he used as a pillow Como with señal. him as a sign. Pero ahora aquí en el 35, la me dice que but now, in verse 35, chapter 35, the Bible says, he tells his household, his family, ahora venía con familia el hombre. 
Now he had a family returning with ya him. No venía solo. He was no longer alone. Ahora venía con Now he was coming with a Ahora blessing. Venía con ganado. Now he had herds and Iba cattle and he had nothing before. Solo con una semilla. Only a seed. Solo con una palabra que Dios le había dado. Only with one word that God gave him. Pero como le creyó. But because he believed in Ahora that word. El en la Now the man comes with the blessing. Yo no sé si tú le has a Dios. I don't know if you have believed Pero God. Yo le creo a Dios para cosas But grandes. I believe God in great things. Yo creo que esta iglesia, and I believe that this church vamos a tener que poner más sillas para allá, we will have to put more chairs along these y más sillas para allá, and more chairs going back porque esto aquí va a crecer, because this will grow porque Dios le ha dado palabra a la iglesia, because God has given a word to this church decir, that he will bless this church crecer, that it will grow que está como punta de lanza. and that it is like the tip of the, of the um, spear Yo no sé si lo cree. I don't know if you believe Pero that si lo cree, un aplauso fuerte, but if you believe that give God a hand Levántate. Rise up. Levantémonos. We need to get up. Subamos a Betel. And we need to rise and go to Bethel. Y entonces y había que despojarse. And he said they needed to leave some things behind. Yo no sé de qué te tienes que despojar tú. I don't know what you need to leave behind. Yo sí sé de qué me tengo que despojar. I know what I need to leave. Si es de 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 tacañería, de dureza de corazón, de no querer dar. Maybe your 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 stingy um and your heart is hardened. Hay que despojarse de ello. You need to let that go. Si hay dioses ajenos, if there is foreign gods están impidiendo la bendición, that are stopping your blessing, hay que despojarse de ellos. You need to leave that behind. Para poder subir a Betel, to be able to go to Bethel, tenían que despojarse de todas esas cosas. They needed to leave that behind. De pecado, sins, de mentira, and lies. Ahora el hombre viene, and now the man comes back, con nuevo nombre, with a new name. Ya no se llamaba Jacob, se llamaba Israel. His name was no longer Jacob, but now Israel. Ahora el hombre viene, amén, perdonado. And now the man is forgiven Todo lo que había of everything that he had lied for. Todas las trampas que había hecho. All the traps that Dios se las perdonó. Everything was forgiven by God. Y a veces a Jacob. And sometimes we judge Jacob. Y decimos, Qué lo que hizo ese And we say, wow. Era un he, he was deceitful, a deceitful a person. Decir, no somos mejor que él. But let me say that we're not any better than him. Because if we were better than him, then Nosotros Jesus wouldn't have mentido. had to die on the cross. Nosotros hemos hecho trampa. We have lied, we have been deceitful. Pero Dios, aún con todo eso, Dios te bendice. God has blessed you even with all Porque of that. Dios quiere que subas a Betel. Because God wants you to rise que to te Bethel. De lo que te tenga de and to leave you, leave behind what you need to si leave. Espíritu de incredulidad, If it's a spirit fuera. of unbelief, you need to leave si that. Espíritu de pereza, If it's a spirit of laziness, fuera. you need to leave it. Porque Dios te quiere llevar a Betel. Because God wants to take you to Pero Bethel. Te quiere llevar. He wants to take you. A ti, no con tus dioses. He wants to take you not with your gods. Y dicen el seis. It, six, it says. Ya estamos terminando, no se me desespere. Dicen el seis, capítulo seis. It says in. Uh, y llegó six. Jacob a luz. ¿A dónde había llegado anteriormente? Where had Jacob came to before? ¿A dónde había llegado anteriormente? Where did he go? Where was the a place? Luz. To lose. Que está en tierra de Canaán. Este es Betel which it was a land in Canaan, which was now Bethel. He named it Bethel. So he arrived there with all of his people. Ahora And now he had a llevaba people with, with him. He had servants. No, no, no. Vamos a ver acá. Ahora él estaba bendecido y llevaba sirvientes. Now he was blessed and had servants with llevaba him. Llevaba la bendición de Dios. He had God's blessing. La palabra se había he cumplido. Had, the word of God had been fulfilled. Porque dice acá, y el pueblo que con él estaba. It says here, and the people that was with him. Tal vez solo a este país. Maybe you came alone to this country. Yo vine con, con un hijo. I came only with one child. Ahora somos cinco. And now somos I have five. Five kids, seven altogether. Y con un montón de and with a whole bunch of siblings, brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Ahora dicen el siete. So it says in seven. Y un altar. And he made an altar. He built an altar. Era, este a hacer altar. So they had taught this man to build altars. Claro, es que Isaac. He, there's Isaac. 
Siempre tenían una razón para hacer altar. There was always a, a reason to build an altar. Es como la iglesia la hermosa. It's like the beautiful church. Siempre tenemos una razón para estar en fiesta. We always have a reason to have a to have a celebration. Hay que celebrar el cumpleaños, vamos a celebrarlo. We need to have birthday parties y, and y si celebrate. Y si venimos al encuentro, hay que celebrarlo. And uh, when we go to an encounter, we need y, to celebrate si that. Y si alguien allá salió embarazada, hay que celebrarlo. And if someone got pregnant, we need to celebrate that. Y luego alguien se casa, hay que celebrarlo. And then someone gets married, we need to celebrate that too. So it says there he built an Ahora, altar. ¿cómo le llamó ahí? Now what was what did he name siete, this place in verse 7 chapter 35 verse 7. It says there he built an altar and called the place El Bethel. Porque ahí le había aparecido Dios cuando huía de su hermano. Because it was there where God revealed himself to him when he was fleeing from his brother. Quiero decirte algo. Let me say something to you. First, he names it Bethel. Listen to me carefully. Don't fall asleep. We're almost finished. So first he named it Bethel, which means house of God. Now when he arrives there with his family, and he, he's there with all his herds and his flocks and all his um, family and blessing, now he names it El ahora, Bethel. Ahora ya no significa now it doesn't mean casa de Dios solamente. God's house only. Ahora significa now it means El Dios de la casa. the God of the house. El Dios de la casa. The God of the house. Tú haces a Dios, el Dios de tu casa, when you make God the God of your house, ahí. then the blessing is there. Eso es lo que ahí. That is what it means Dios there. No que solo a la casa de Dios. God doesn't just want you to come to his house. Sino que hagas a Dios tu casa. You, he wants you to make him God and for him to dwell in you. En él. And that you may dwell Entonces in him. La va a venir. And then the blessing will come. Dicen amen? How many of you can say amen? Esa How many of you can declare that word of blessing in your life? La iglesia, the church. Es la iglesia de Dios y es una iglesia bendecida. It is the church of God and it is a blessed church. Dicen amen? How many can say amen? Dios le dio una palabra a Jacob. God gave a word to Jacob. Dios te ha dado una palabra a ti. And God has given you a Dios word. Me ha dado una palabra a mí. God has given me a word. Dice el Señor que tenemos también la palabra profética más segura la cual hacemos bien en estar atentos. And his word says that we have also have the prophetic word that we, which we need to be sure of. Porque alumbra como una antorcha, dice. Because it is a light like a torch. Dios te da una palabra en este día. God gives you a word today. En Isaías 41, 10 dice. In Isaiah 41, 10, no it says. No temas porque yo estoy contigo. So do not fear for I am no with you. No desmayes porque yo soy el Dios que te fuerza. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. Siempre te ayudaré. I will strengthen you. Y siempre te sustentaré. And I, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. And that word has kept me. And in Philippians 1 6, it says, de esto, dice, While I was persevered que el que la buena in this, mí, that he who started the good work in me, la va, dice, a terminar, la va a concluir, being confident of this, that he who began the good work in me, hasta el día de Cristo, will finish the work until you until you carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. I would like everyone to please stand up. The promises of God are greater than our past and our anguishes, our troubles. But the promises of God they are the ones that define us. And it's not about the pain and struggles that you're going through right now. What defines you is is the word that God has given you. That God has opened heavens for you. He gave you a word. And he has told you I will not leave you, I will not forsake you until my word is fulfilled that word which I've y given este you digo, and promise you and today I tell you Dios va a el God will fulfill that purpose por el cual te in which he has called Yo you no sé I don't know a qué Dios te ha what he has called you for Dios te ha but God has called you y el en en ti. and he wants to fulfill that purpose in you Yo no sé si has que más de 20 años. I don't know if you've had to wait for more than 20 years or 15 years or 10 years for the word to be fulfilled that God has given you 
Y tal vez tú dices, pero Jacob tuvo que esperar 20 años. And now you can think, well, Jacob had to wait 20 years. Yo no quiero esperar 20 años. I don't think I can wait for 20 years. Yo te voy a una cosa, no te preocupes. Let me tell you something, do not be worried. No vas a tener que esperar 20 años. You won't have to wait 20 years. Yo no quiero esperar 20 años como el pastor Jaime para que me, me den una promesa. I don't want to wait 20 years like Pastor Jaime to receive a promise fulfilled. Yo he tenido que esperar por más de 20 años. I've had to wait for more than 20 years. Pero he estado esperando en Dios. But I've been waiting in God. Y he declarado la palabra de Dios. And I have declared the word of God. Y me he alineado con la palabra de Dios. And I have aligned myself with that word. Y no me importa lo que diga el hombre. And I don't care what man has to say. Y no me importa lo que digan las circunstancias. I don't care what circumstances say. Yo estoy creyendo a Dios. I am believing in God. Porque Dios me ha dado una palabra. Because God has given me a word. Dios me ha dicho no te voy a dejar. God has told me I will not leave you. Te estaré contigo. I will be with you. Dios me ha dicho cuando pases por las aguas. He's told me that when you go through waters. Cuando pases por las aguas no te anegarán. When when I go through the waters they will not si drown el, me. Y si por el fuego no arderá en ti. And through the fire it will not burn you. Yo no sé you. qué palabra Dios te ha dado. And I don't know what word God has given me. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Holy, holy is He. Sing a new song to Him who sits on heaven's mercy seat. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, holy, holy is He. Sing a new song to Him who sits on heaven's mercy seat. kings you are my everything and i will adore you lord Clothed in rainbows of living color Flashes of lightning, rolls of thunder. Blessing and honor, strength and glory and power be to you, the only King of Kings, you are my 
Jesus, your name is power. 